What is up, YouTube fam bam? Back here with another video. I am currently in Mufflin, Pennsylvania. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm gonna grab some fuel, and then we are going to Vita Line Products down in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. I don't have to pump off at this customer, but I do have to hook my hoses up. Before we jump into this video, make sure to give me that thumbs up, smack that subscribe button, and let's keep trucking. <laughs> When you're applying online at primeinc.com on your application, make sure when it asks you were you referred to by an active prime driver, make sure to click on yes. The box below that, make sure to put my driver code, Strexa. Now let's do some trucking. Uh, you always wanna make sure uh, whenever you're getting fuel, you wanna select on duty. In the drop down menu, you select fueling and hit okay. All right, let's get some fuel in this bad boy right here. Time to get some fuel. So I got a dream that I'm gonna be at the top of the Come scene. On, Come on. I'll never right. restrain, making my presence something to be seen. Yeah. I'll make them all see that I could be anything I wanna be. If you got a dream, then you need persistence and lots of belief. Yeah. Yo, don't take that. Negative energy, I replace that. I just wanna be me, I don't fake that. I just wanna be free, yeah, chase right, that. Well, that right I got there. a new obsession. It's helping and teaching There's and giving everyone a lesson. It's living and winning and building something that's Straight. impressive. I don't wanna do the same thing, I wanna be progressive all. all the way up to so the I'ma make a new me, a new beast, a true fiend. He's everything that he wants to be. Look in the mirror, what he wants to see. It's a dude looking back at me. I stay on track, yeah, track things. I'm setting goals like packing. I'm steady stacking. I see myself. Being happy, a better me with a strategy that I'm attacking. There we go. Tap, 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 tap. All right, we'll let that death fill up. I would suggest whenever you're, whenever you start your TNT training, uh, make sure that you set up all your re rewards accounts with all these major truck stops. So for loves, go inside, grab yourself a loves card, go on the app. When you get the card from inside, you'll go on the app, sign up, put that card number in there. With uh, Petro and TAs, you have to actually go in there to their kiosk and fill out your information to apply for their Ultra One card. It takes about 10 to 14 days to come in. And then for the Pilot and Flying Jays, they don't have a card, you just sign up through the app. Because uh, your rewards can build up for your you know, shower credits and points. Let's keep on rolling, baby. Ooh, and it's time to open up me another little monster. Let's get a little sip of that, because we about to hit this roll, baby. Mm, let's get a little sip of that. Ooh, yeah, baby, let's go. It says I'm 40 miles away from this receiver. Now, some receivers, excuse me, they won't even take a sample. They'll just pop the seals, and if they're pumping off, they'll just hook up and start pumping off. Some of them will request a sample, and they'll either get the sample themselves and make you wait. It might take 15, 30 minutes. They'll test the sample, make sure the fatty acid levels and the pH levels and everything is good on the product. Or, all right, I gotta turn real quick. Or they will have you uh, get the sample. I gotta hold my I gotta hold my drink so that way uh, it doesn't spill everywhere. So at this receiver, they're gonna have me grab the sample and I'll show you the shortcut, the easy way to get a sample without it getting messy. All right, let's hop on this road, baby. All right, let's get on this road. All right, I gotta grab my drink because I'm gonna have a little search here. After a quarter of a mile, enter the highway interstate 80. Oh, search isn't that bad. Oh, there we go. Got a little bit of search. All right, thank y'all for clearing out a little bit of room for me to get on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Boy, it is bright outside. It is a little cold, too. No, it's not too bad. This morning, it was 20 degrees. Uh, I stopped at a Petro in uh, Gerard, Ohio. I'm not sure even if that's how you pronounce it. I believe it's Gerard, Ohio. And I got a nice hot shower, and I'm gonna put my flashers on. Uh, I'm going under 50 miles an hour. I'm kind of going uphill a little bit. But I got a nice hot shower. Uh, I washed uh, a load of laundry and then I also washed uh, my bedding. All right, we're almost to Vita Line Products. I'm here in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. Now turn right. Uh, car broke down right there, huh? All right, I'm gonna have to swing her wide so that way I don't hit that car. All right, there we go. We got her cleared, we got her cleared. I knew that I could clear her. I just want to be safe. 
I always want to be safe. Boy, it's busy down this road. I haven't seen it busy down this road like this before. Uh, I've been here quite a few times, probably like seven and seven or eight times I've been to this receiver. You have reached your destination. All right, your destination here we go. Is on your right. Pull her in, here we go. Swing her a little bit wide. Oh, looks like there's somebody here in front of me. Another, another old prime tanker. Another prime tanker there. So we're gonna wait for this prime tanker to move out the way. And then we're gonna hop on this scale and then we're gonna go check in over there in, the, in this office over here to the right. It says shipping office. It's funny because this uh, I've had this trailer before. <laughs> I'm going to put that uh, that loves mud flap over there on the right hand side of this trailer. I think this other truck is gonna get on the scale. All right, so I just backed up my truck. This guy in this white truck over here, he was actually waiting on the other side coming out this way. He must've just got loaded. So I was nice enough to back up my truck. Oh man, I'm still tired. So once this guy gets off of here, then I'll pull up and scale. And then we'll go in here and check in. Nice and easy, nice and easy does it. We just gonna creep right up on this scale. Smooth like butter. You know, smooth like butter. All right, I need to get my jacket because, man, this is a little nippy. All right, so we want to make sure we grab our paperwork. Uh, I always keep pens with me. I'm going to grab my pen just in case. I think I got to fill some out whenever I go in here to check in. So you always want to have the uh, the bill of lading, the, the scale ticket, and the washout. Whenever you go to check in, make sure you have those things. All right, let me grab my jacket. All right, grab my little jacket here. And we're gonna go up in here and we're gonna get checked in, y'all. All right. All right, let's go get checked in, y'all. Get her done. All right. Yeah, the right there in front of me, that's the shipping office. Yep, she's on the scale. Truck's running real good. I might be here for a little bit because I got that other prime driver in front of me. I'm supposed to get here yesterday, but there was a delay at the shipper's office. There you go, bud. Truck number uh, 633615 trailer MT 9889. First name Rex REX. Were you ever here before? Yeah, I've been here before. All right, thank you. All right, so uh, got checked in, and they give you a, a scale ticket whenever you get checked in to show you your, your heavy weight. And once I'm done offloading here, we're gonna hop back on the scale and they're gonna give us another paper that shows us the empty weight. So then they know exactly how much product they pumped off the tanker. All right, so let's hop here, hop in the truck. All right, so now we gotta pull around to the back and there's another shipping and receiving office for tankers where we gotta go ch uh, check in at, so. All right, let's see here, let's see here. Looks like this little forklift and van's in my way, so. Uh, we're gonna be actually getting pumped off over here to the right where it says wet ingredients receiving. That's actually where I'm gonna be pumping off where you see the stainless steel cabinets right there. That's actually where I'm gonna be pump pumping off at. All right, once this guy backs up, once this guy backs up, I could spin her around. Swing her wide, there we go. All right, now we're gonna cut her in real nice and easy. Here we go. There we go, cut her in nice and easy. Pull up right next to this other tanker right here, yo. What up, Mr. Tanker? Mr. Tanker, Mr. Tanker. All right, so now we gotta take our paperwork. We got one more spot we gotta go to. All right, let's see. We gotta go around back here and get checked in. Hey, see that sign up there? It says receiving. We're gonna go straight here to the back. There's a door over here on the right that we gotta go in and uh, and get checked in, so. Good news there, get that fucking, they're supposed to. What's up, fellas? The good news, they're supposed to be coming out Monday to fix that yard horse for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I was just down there and they had to fix the fifth wheel on my tractor. Delivery for uh, Prime. Got chicken shit. Yeah. Stinky stuff. Mm hmm. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, uh, is this a drop? No, I've never drop and hooked here. No, I just always lined up and 
Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the tanker. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll have somebody come out and get a sample off you. Okay, all right, thanks. Yeah, I'm not sure if that other prime driver is aware that he's got to come out here. Another thing real quick is some uh, some of these shippers, they will use uh, a plastic seals that you can just tear off the back of the cabinet or on top of the dome. It's like super easy. Make sure to carry some metal tin snips, something that could cut, uh, you know, some, some metal. Uh, basically these seals right here, you'll need to get some metal cutters so that way you can cut that off. So get you a pair of uh, tin snips, something that could cut some metal because I've been to receivers and shippers and even tank washes will put them on there. And they'll ask me if I have any uh, uh, tin snips, and I'm thinking, well, hey, you guys put these on, but you guys don't even have anything to cut it with. Anywho, that's funny, but yeah, make sure to get you some tin snips or something that could cut some metal. All right, first thing you want to do is wherever the receiver tells you to line up, that's where you want to line up at. And the first thing that you want to do is I don't have my parking brake set. I just got done pulling my trailer brakes. So I'm letting all the air out of my bag so it drops it back into the trailer so the product comes out easier. And it usually takes about a minute. And now my bags are completely dropped. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pull the parking brake. I pull that parking brake and then we good. Let me get my sample for you. All right. Oh, you got the chicken fat? Yeah, my chicken fat, that's digest. And yeah, he's still in his truck, I think. I'm good to cut it? Yeah. All right, I just wanna make sure. You want in that? Yeah, give me a second. Let me just get a- Yeah, I was gonna grab a bucket to drain some out yeah. first. Wrong. Yeah, that's what I was gonna get. You want it in this or yeah. you want it in that? Yeah, just let it run a bit. That's just what I was gonna grab it. Just have to do it. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I was gonna do this. I've been here. I've, I've done this rodeo a few times, you know what I mean? The first time wasn't so pretty though. It gets messy at times. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Do you drop your bags? Uh, oh, yeah. Yours looks tastier than mine. All right. <laughs> we'll just be hanging out. Trust me, we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it is cold out here, y'all. I was gonna grab some gloves. All right, so only three hours later. All right, so the sample came back, they're good. I got my hose hooked up, got my valve open, got my strap on here on the hose, my hose connected, my straps on there. I'll go up to the top, show you what it looks like. Always make sure your dome is vented. This is a, uh, this is chicken fat. All right, that's what it looks like. Now we just sit and wait, let it do its job, let it pump off. All right, so this customer, Vitaline Products, down here in Hazleton, Pennsylvania, we do not use our pump to pump off. Uh, this is our pump that we use when we do pump off on trailers. As you can see, I'm not connected to a pump. I got my hose uh, connected directly to the outlet valve on the trailer, and my hose is running to their inlet valve right here, where it says poultry fat number two. So I got my hose connected. I got it all uh, strapped. I got my strap here on the hose, make sure it is secure. And it's really cold outside, but if you hold the hose, you can feel how warm that chicken fat is in here. Cause they load these at about 180 to 210 degrees. So you can feel the heat through this hose to feel that it's pumping. So I just keep an eye on everything. I'm always out here checking, making sure nothing's leaking on my end. So, uh, the other issue I had is <clears throat> this hose here, usually the hose on the right, it's a, a female and on the other end is a female uh, side as well. Uh, but as you can see, when I pulled this hose out, they call these dog ears. There was only one dog ear and it just, this whole part, this whole thing came apart when I pulled this hose out. These are called dog ears. Well. It only had one, so I couldn't get this hose to work because it only had one dog ear. So what I had to end up doing is on this end, this is actually a male, uh, male, the male side, 
that's a female end. So what I had to use is if you look under the orange strap, you see these gold handles. This is actually a female to female adapter. So it holds two males together. So I had to use my adapter to be able to make this work. So, and I'm gonna report that hose to Road Assist to let them know that they're gonna, they're gonna have to replace that hose or put uh, some new uh, dog ears on it, dog collars, whatever you wanna call them, dog ears, dog collars. And this, uh, <clears throat> this prime driver right here, he was actually delivering digest over here on this side and he's actually taking off right now and he was having trouble getting his pumped off something was going on here with these with this customer's pumps back here take it easy mr prime yeah i met that guy that guy's super cool uh, i guess he came from the flatbed side uh he's driving this purple international over here so but you know i'm always out here checking making sure nothing's leaking on my side of uh, the outlet or any, or my hose or anything like that bye bye mr prime be safe out there brother be safe man it's getting cold. Uh, what I normally do is whenever I uh, <clears throat> have to use my any of my adapters or my fittings, uh, which you will get whenever you, uh, <clears throat> you get into your own truck, you'll get fittings for the tanker side, whether you go food grade or you go inedible. But what I always do if a customer uh, doesn't have a source of water where I can rinse off my fittings, I'll just put it in a little trash bag and tie it up because it smells pretty bad. I, I want my truck to start smelling. The tool compartment is directly underneath my bed. And to get to the tool compartment on the freight liners, I just pull this little handle here and this door pops open. So, and then my bed is right up here. So I'll just put it in a bag for now. All right, we've been pumping off for about an hour, so she should be empty. As good as she gonna get right there. All right, so since the we're using the customer's pump to pump off, to lift the hose so they can suck the rest of this in here. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna close our valve on our end, and then I'm gonna get my strap off of here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my female to female fitting off. All right, okay, so all right, we're gonna cap cap the back of the trailer off. All right, let me get this. Oh, my fitting isn't that bad. I'm still gonna put it in the bag though. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and cap the end of the hose off. You go walk it up or you can roll it. You go ahead and roll it, roll the hose. All right, just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the, the strap off our other end of the hose. Now we wanna grab the cap to the under, uh, other end of the hose. All right. Now we wanna cap it off and we'll go ahead and cap off the customer's end here. Ooh, that's nasty. Ooh, that's nasty. Now I'm just gonna drag my hose out. Now we're gonna put the hose up. All right, just slide the hose in there. Now we close that all up. Now we just close the cabinet. After I close the cabinet and put all my stuff up, we're gonna go up to the top of the dome. Close the dome. You don't have to make these super tight. There we go, close, close the dome up. All right, there we go. Now I just gotta put up my tools. All right, so now I'm just gonna put this fitting here in this bag, roll it up, put her away for now. All right. All right, tools are put up, everything's disconnected. Now, the only thing I gotta do is I gotta go back to shipping and receiving and grab my paperwork, hop on their scale, and check out. All right, we're gonna go and uh, hop on their scale so we can get the scale ticket here for my empty weight. I'm gonna pull over to the side so that way I can do my depart call. And then after this, uh, I'll be heading over to OJ's Tank Wash in Lancaster, Pennsylvania.
Lancaster, Pennsylvania, y'all. I don't think I need a pen, but I'm gonna bring a pen just in case. All right, let's go in here. Get my empty weight scale ticket. <sighs> so, fellas. Good? Thank you, have a good one. All right, got my empty weight. So we loaded 45,920 pounds into their tank. Let's see, I'm gonna spin her all the way around. We're gonna do a little circle here, y'all. Do a little circle. There we go. All right, so now that I got all my paperwork and I'm unloaded, now I wanna go ahead and put, uh, you know, I wanna write down the date on my paperwork. Uh, these are these are called trip sheets. You'll fill out one of these every time you uh, you do a load with Prime. You're gonna fill out one of these uh, trip sheets. It asks you for your tractor number, your trip number, your name, your driver code, the dates, trailer number, origins, uh, city and state, destination, city and state, the customer's name. So now that we got everything that we need, uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and su uh, submit this paperwork over uh, through the Prime app. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Make sure you give me that thumbs up. Smack that subscribe button and let's just keep on rolling, y'all.